Hi Libras, and welcome to your March 2017 general tarot forecast. This is Sky, and I'm here to give you guys hopefully a great reading for your month ahead. So Libras, you're kind of all over the place this month, I see, um, and that makes sense because we're in Pisces time, which is such a foreign energy for you. Um, for those of you who don't have much Pisces or water in your chart, then this period of time can be quite destabilizing and quite... Um, make you feel a little bit crazy, make you feel a little bit um, all over the place, like I said, a little bit um, just out of your own natural territory. And it seems like you guys have been struggling, but also succeeding. And it seems like you guys are heartbroken, but also really excited and ecstatic for something just, again, up and down, like you're known to be um, just all over the place. But it's in a good way, Libras, because this all over the place that you're in is breaking the cycle of what you've been in. You have been in a really negative cycle and this swinging from up and down, it will surpass. If you're worried about yourself, it will pass, especially once we get through the equinox coming on the 21st of March. You know, we had the eclipse and the new moon in Pisces on February 26th. And through that period of time, Pisces, you probably had a lot of really big conflict, a lot of big confrontation and now you are left picking up the pieces, but you also have things on the back burner which are really bringing in a lot of wealth or bringing in a lot of satisfaction, something that makes you feel abundant. But at the same time, you're dealing with like this heartbreak and this extreme crazy relationship that just like took you back to square one. So, um, but at the same time, it's like this is your skeleton key, okay? It's like a skeleton key month for you, Pisces, where you, um, finally get the answers, okay? And this may not come at the beginning of March. It may even be into April before it really clicks for you, but something clicks around the equinox time of March 21st. It will either click then or a circumstance will come into play that makes it click then. So I feel like for sure by through April and certainly by the end of April, you will have suddenly come to realization about how you can move on. You've been so stagnant for now and um, you have been struggling to find like fulfillment it's like you've been successful libra you've gotten what you need but it's like you thought it would fulfill you more and there's that saying you know success without fulfillment is failure so i feel like you guys have been in that place with yourselves like you're feeling like you failed even though most people see you as very successful uh and again it's like you have the skeleton key to fix this through this relationship trauma that you're experiencing okay so yeah that's kind of your general intuitive energy which i know just kind of like you guys was all over the place, but um, what better way to give it to Libra? I think that you guys get that better than anyone else, so and get it more often than anyone else, so you're accustomed to it. Anyway, lots of room for rebirth this month, lots of room for saving money, energy, time, um, anything that has to do with pulling back and saving to create more in the future. It's a good energy line to be on as well. Um, there's a shift in perspective. There is acknowledgement and um, like presence of this negative cycle that's kind of been functioning in your peripheral vision. You know, you've known it's there, but you haven't really been able to put your finger on it. It's getting closer and, you know, not too much happening on the outside world other than like, so you're really deep romantic relationships. There's a lot happening there potentially, but what I mean by outside world, it's like, mundane relationships not a lot happening there um platonic normal friendships you they're changing they're old they're outdated feeling so there's not been a lot happening there and there's also an energy of like your your feeling of luck tradition and like leaving things behind okay those three things like luck tradition and turning your back or leaving things behind all of those things come together to create this skeleton key that I'm talking about. But anyway, I feel like I'm confusing you guys, so I want to start looking at this week to week and that will and it will all come together, okay? So in the first week, you guys have the three of swords reversed, rooted down by the three of wands. So two threes. Um, threes are about, you know, communication. They're about connections. They're about, um, you know, feeling like through some kind of circumstance or other person, you vicariously experience like destiny or... Um, kind of life force. That's what threes are about. And, you know, we see two very different versions of that in the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands because the Three of Swords is all about experiencing that through heartbreak and how we kind of rewire 
through trauma and heartbreak, we kind of see a new version of highs and lows. And that's reversed for you. So there's something that feels unnatural about it. There's something that feels unprepared to experience this heartbreak. Someone could have really come out of um, nowhere and broken up with you or caused you some kind of heartbreak or sadness or grief. Um, but there's a need with that being rooted down by the three of wands. Okay, there are two things. But first of all, there's a need for you to turn your back on it. There's a need for you to not spend too much time over analyzing it and understanding how you could have done better, how you could have um, changed, or what you could change about the past to make this not happen. Because over analysis right now, Libras, like I'm saying in all my videos, will lead you to a painful place. It's about unconscious healing through symbolism right now. It's about experiencing the world and the symbols around you and with the knowledge and validation that healing is happening at the cellular level versus um, consciously trying because Pisces is not conscious and we're in Pisces time right now in the beginning of March, especially coming from the eclipse and new moon. Um, it is about unconscious healing through symbolism because like I said, Pisces is not conscious and if we're trying to consciously heal, we won't actually heal because it needs to all be kind of happening beneath the surface with trust that that's happening, okay? Okay, and the second thing that I'm feeling about the Three of Wands, it's like someone turned their back on you. It's like someone that you thought would be there through thick and thin just turned their back and was no longer there for you and you could not finish something. You could not, something fell through the cracks because of that. And this is a good time, Libra, to look at your codependent nature. And this is a shadow side of Libra, is potentially needing someone to balance them, needing another person, a thing, a substance. Um, and this can become a little bit addictive, and you do have the devil in your reading. So you guys could have been a little bit addicted to a person or coming out of a codependent relationship, and you've got to reflect on that in a way that's not trying to fix it. Like, you've just got to accept that it's real, that it happened, and then allow the healing to occur, and watch out for it in the future. Okay. Um... It's about making these choices in the future. We can't change the past, Libras. You're very past-oriented in this moment in time, which is one of the reasons why you don't care for Pisces energy or that Pisces energy doesn't resonate so well with you because Libra doesn't so much need to be past-oriented. Um, you have to balance that so much anyway, so Pisces energy that comes in with like nostalgia and attention to the past and the future and the present, we lose time in Pisces. You know, like time becomes very compressed, so... Um, that's uncomfortable for you, Libra, for sure. And again, that depends on your chart, you know, like if you have Pisces natally, you'll be more familiar with this. Um, but, you know, you've got to turn your back a little bit on the heartbreak and focus your attention elsewhere. Okay, moving into the second week, you have the Ten of Cups rooted down by Judgment. Judgment and the Ten of Cups have been coming up a lot. Um, so it's, and judgment, it makes sense, you know, being an equinox time, it's all about judgment energy and the archetype of judgment in the tarot. So you're going through a rebirth. Um, I feel that it's playing out through your sense of tradition, through your sense of family value and um, your connections, your deep family-like connections with, with other people, whether that be through blood or through um, just like really long-running relationships that feel like family. Um, those are being reborn right now. Those are changing. Um, and some of them for the better and some of them in ways that make you uncomfortable, Libra. So you've got to know when to turn your back on it. You've got to know when to let go. And you may have to let go of some relationships um, throughout March, throughout Equinox time, but specifically in the second week of March, it seems like you're um, confronted with a situation where you might feel you need to do that. Okay, and you've just got to trust in the formula. Okay, I'm saying that a lot this month too. Um, trust that the relationship dynamics that you're experiencing right now have some kind of karmic intention, something that puts you on the path that you need to be on. Because too much thought, Libra, about the pain that you're going through right now, about why you deserve this, what you did to deserve this, is very discouraging for you. It's important to change the perspective, okay, like the hanged man, and turn it all on its head and just kind of have trust that you can heal, that um, this situation will get better. And, you know, turn the pain into like benefit for yourself because there's another archetype that's been really prevalent for the air signs, especially that I've noticed where um, your obstacles are actually going to help you in the future. Um, your obstacles right now will be like a springboard and it's hard to see with the way that they are right now, but they will be what makes you win or makes you successful. So think about ways that you can 
make that happen. Think about ways not with like your being, because again, we're not being very successful with outward manifestation right now. So think of ways that you can turn this pain into success, this pain into um, help to other people, um, something, some kind of system that helps people in a situation that you were in. That's all really good stuff to be thinking about right now, Libra. Okay, moving into the third week, you guys have the Nine of Cups rooted down by the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is what I talk about with the luck. Like you're feeling maybe more lucky and you're hoping that your luck keeps going the way that it does um, or the way that it doesn't. Um, there's something like you're feeling very faded, very strong divine connection. And this is the good thing about Pisces energy, Libra, is you can be very, um, you know, like clandestine. You can... Um, accomplish things in a more subconscious way in a way that is not so conventional okay to normal healing and it's working out really well for you this week if you let it okay and you can also be coming into a period of time where you're surmounting more allies where more people who you trust are coming in either that or you're like counting the people that you can trust and it's a good time to think about who's on your side always with the nine of cups it's a good time to think about who's done what who's really out for your favor who's being fake you have a better lens to see this properly during this time okay and just as a side note it's better to hold back right now in really social scenarios like i see like gossip could be an issue or people like things are being said the way that they are not so it's like when you're finally around like all these people you have that's rooted down by the four of pentacles so it's like you need to hold back like this information or secret that you've been told it doesn't need to be said right now otherwise it could land you in a difficult territory so hold back a little bit like and just in general you know for march for everybody it's a time where we're um preparing to come into a place where we can shoot forward where we can um manifest more in a more outward you know like aryan way when we get into aries time past the equinox but and this is happening right around the equinox for you guys where you feel like you have to go within a little bit more where you feel like you have to hold back and just honor that when that comes in um because i feel that your relationship something may happen around this time where you feel very tempted to like tell people how it is um especially for any of you libras with scorpio in your chart for any of you like on the libra scorpio cusp of course, watch Scorpio's video as well, where I talk more about this, but it's not such a great time to be like telling people how it is, you know, it's not such a good time to be like telling people um, like your opinion or forcing your opinion on other people, um, just because like everyone's going through their own issue right now and it doesn't need to be colored by outside influence, it's all personal. So if you're coloring other people's circumstance, then that will make things really, really destabilizing for you and for them and it would just be better to avoid that and people could be trying to do that to you as well libra either side of the archetype maybe people are trying to um really force their opinion on you and they're trying to tell you how things are and just know that you can make your own decision about that and i would disconnect from that person more because their situation will become more difficult um because they're trying to force their opinion on you during a time where that's not what we need so um anyway moving on into the fourth week you guys have the devil reversed over the hanged man this is probably your most significant week of march this is when i feel that you see your cycle when you see your um what's been functioning within you at a shadow level um you see like those people are like chained to that like you see those chains now and you see that you have to break those chains and you have to break away from this cycle and it's up to you to use the skeleton key sort of energy that you're granted throughout the entire month of your condition, of your um, circumstance, and to use the happiness that you've experienced, the fulfillment, the success that you have experienced at times in your life versus the um, heartbreak and the difficulty. And it's important to merge those things together and understand that they're experience and to use experience to push you out of this negative cycle. Whatever that is for you, it can be very different depending on personal situations. You can always book a private reading with me if you would like more um, insight onto what your difficult cycles are. That seems to be something that I'm like very good at realizing in an individual people. It's kind of my specialty to see your shadow side, to see um, what negative cycles you've found yourself in. So you can always email me um, if you're more curious to know. Anyway, so 
And it seems just to give you guys at a general level that the way, one of the ways to get past these cycles is to change the perspective. And that tends to be a very universal way of getting past negative cycles. Um, Cause you, but you have the hanged man under that, which that's all about just turning things upside down. It seems like you can only really realize this in stillness too. You can't be too outwardly concerned. You can't be like all over the place physically. Like you can't be like here one day, here the next day, unless you're alone. You can't be over socializing. You've got to be still for a while. And it's like through that, that you kind of get through this cycle and it will kind of get worse before it gets better. That's just the nature of it. But um, that's just a part of it. And you know how to get through this. It's like you've been here before Libra. Okay. And your central theme, Libra, is the King of Wands. So you might be planning to travel. You might be planning new things with a creative project. That's so beautiful. You'll be really good at manifesting these things after the equinox, after the 21st of March. Um, and I would recommend to plan things after then, if you can. Um, you'll have more energy for creative projects. You'll be able to take on more um, work in a more creative way. And that's the message. Like you've got to get more creative with your work. If you're feeling stagnant, um, you've got to put a new spin on it. You've got to revitalize it. Beware of things that you know that will make you burn out. Okay. And you can't always predict it, but for your triggers to burn out, beware of that during March, because that's part of the King of Wands. It can burn out if it's not careful. So Anyway, um, this has been a really great reading for me. I hope that you guys have a really great March. Allow the healing in, in an unconscious way that you can trust that your cells are healing. Okay, Libras, don't focus too much on it. You know, you're, you're good. You're good. It's uncomfortable here, but you will come past these cycles. Um, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, you can do that in the description box below. Likewise, if you would like to book a private reading with me, that should be popping up on the screen right about now. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will be having a lot of content coming soon um, around Equinox time, and I plan to get April readings out a little bit earlier. So um, I will see you guys then. Bye.